Welcome back, X hitters. Today we're gonna hit our core, and your abs are gonna feel it tomorrow. So everything we do is about 30 seconds, and at the end we're gonna hold it for a whole minute. And I know you're excited because you've been asking for more ab routines. So let's get this party started. As promised, here we are. We're gonna hit the mat because pretty much everything we do, actually everything we do today, is going to be on the floor. We're gonna start with a 30 second plank. Just get that core activated and warmed up. You know, behind in the air, no sink or chips. You know the drill. Start to activate that core by squeezing when you exhale. Lock it down in the front. Really squeeze those abs, make it count. You got it. You're probably watching the clock. I've got a little timer over here. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. Not there yet, about five more seconds. You got it, two more. All right, roll it over onto your back. I have a battery pack on my back, so we'll see how this feels. All right, so you're gonna elevate your chin and the shoulder blades, so you're activating the top of your core here. Start in this position. We're just gonna bring it up, leg drop, bring it down. Super slow and controlled, 30 seconds. Keep those shoulders up. If you need to take a rest at any moment, go ahead. Squeeze at the top. Fight the resistance as you come down. Point the toes so your legs are nice and elongated. More resistance for your core. And if your lower back and the lumbar area starts to hurt, just take a break or you can put your hands under your hips. Alleviate that a little bit. One more. All right, okay. So on your backs, I want you to bring your legs out. And you guys probably saw this coming because we just did leg drops. Flutter kicks. I want you to bring your shoulder blades up and hold it here. Just 30 seconds. Promise you can get through this. Straighten the leg. About three to four inches off the ground. Okay, don't hit the floor. Keep moving. Fill it up and really isolate. The more you get those shoulder blades off the ground, the more isolation you're gonna get in your core, which of course is gonna make this workout that much more effective. A few more seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, pop it up into a side plank. We're going to do 30 seconds on this side and then 30 seconds on the other side. So pop it up, hips up to the ceiling. Jump on in, drop those hips. You got it. All the way, hit those obliques. 30 seconds on each side. Should start to fatigue around 15 to 20. And if you get through this whole workout and you're like, oh, that was super easy, do it again. Almost there. Keep it up. Last one. Woo. Go ahead and switch, other side. 30 seconds over here. Hips up to the ceiling. There we go. Pull that hip up. And as you bring it down, it's not gonna touch the floor. Okay, keep going. Whew. I'm feeling it over here. <laughs> Get those obliques moving. Make sure you're giving it just as much effort on this side as you did before. Otherwise, you're gonna have one underdeveloped oblique and one overdeveloped. Whew. One more. Boom, okay. Whew. Suitcase crunches are next some of our favorites. So open it up at the top, okay? Like so, and bring it up. 30 seconds, here we go. Exhale on the way up. Really squeeze those abs, pull in the knee. You got this. So notice my heels are not touching the floor as I come down. You got it. Chin is slightly tucked in. Make this count, make sure you're doing them. Stay on pace. Two more, last one. Okay, go ahead and bring it down onto your back again. Well, as much as I would like to tell you that now it's nap time, it's not. So, boom, bring them up, windmills. We've done these before. Jump in 30 seconds. Not a giant range of motion. Hey, you guys can actually bend in the center and kick it out if you like. Give it a shot. Actually makes it a little more challenging as you reach out to the side. Keep going. Point the toe to elongate the leg. Make sure you're breathing. 
Don't hold your breath and then gasp for air. A lot of people do that when they do core. Last one, okay. We are getting to the light at the end of this tunnel. This mat is bunching up like crazy. Bicycles are next. Just hit, hit, hit. Okay, 30 seconds. Jump on in, here we go. You got it. Get those shoulder blades up. Every time you exhale, lock down in the front. Squeezing those abs a little more. You got it. And guess what? After this 30 seconds is up, we're doing more flutter kicks. Hitting that lower core again. You should be super excited. <laughs> okay, bring it down. These flutter kicks, barely get them off the floor, about six inches, and go fast. All right, jump in, 30 seconds. Should be burning, you should be like, oh, I can barely do these. And then put your hands on your hips if you need to. You got it, short little movements. Point the toes, burning. You got it. Woo. Relax the neck if you need to. Oh man, it's burning. And take a break. Oh, all right, these guys, we are just gonna do partial sit-ups, crunches rather. Our hands are gonna go here. So we're gonna start here, or if you like, without pulling on your neck, okay? Because I'm not a proponent of pulling on your head. You can rest your fingertips right back here. Just aid, okay? That'll work too. 30 seconds. Get the shoulder blades up, just a bit. Perfect, keep going. Hands can go here as well. If you have a stability ball, you can do this also. You would actually get a little more range of motion. Keep moving. Woo! Good job, almost there. Boom! And one more and call it, ugh, good. Okay, so this guy, we are going to do 60 seconds, a full minute, and I know you can do it. It's not that difficult. We are going to go into plank position. Okay, plank position, 60 seconds, one minute. You can do one minute out of your life. Don't give up on me yet. Over to the side. Utilize those obliques. Nice and tight in the front of the core. Rock those hips, you got it. Make it count if you're giving up now. You better leave a comment and make yourself know. <laughs> Don't be a quitter, be a finisher. You got it. Keep moving. Exhale, inhale, slow controlled breathing. Seriously, most people only use a small portion of their lung capacity. And that ought not be. <laughs> Keep going. Kind of pause in the middle just a bit. Squeeze. Your hips don't actually need to touch the ground. You might have to keep adjusting your toes. <laughs> Almost there. Good job. Just a few more seconds. Give up, two more. Woo, perfect. You did it. Hey, nice job on today's ab routine. We got through a bunch of 30 second segments in that last 60, that was awesome. Make sure you subscribe here on Exit, get involved with our email newsletter, and leave a comment. Let us know what you thought, and follow me on Twitter and Facebook at KelseyLee.com.